This video will help you prepare for the Lashing Physical Demands Test. We'll show you exactly what you'll need to do during the test, and your trainer can answer any questions you have prior to conducting the test. You can practice for the Lashing Physical Demands Test at the Waterfront Training Center. Contact the center to find out when you can access the equipment and trainers on site. Chris Fletcher is the Field Operations Training Manager for the BCMEA. In the province of British Columbia to be recruited as a longshore, you must pass two physical demands tests. The one we're gonna focus on today is lashing physical demands. Well, you must come down to the waterfront training center and be able to show the trainer that you can hang two high bars and four short bars, complete three cycles in a prescribed time of 12 minutes. Here is a typical example of what a new recruit will be working on, on on a vessel. Very physically demanding and working in a very, very tight or confined space with a lot of tripping and slipping hazards. And also the ergonomic impact of this job. You could be working at Delta Port, Santurm, Van Term, Prince Rupert with a wind chill of minus 20, completing a physical demand like this. Sal Constanti is one of the industry trainers from Local 500. He's been working longshore since 1974. Well, what I usually, when I start, I try to pick up the bar where it's light instead of where it's heavy. This is the heavy part of the bar. This is the light end of the bar. I just, with one hand, you can lift it up, put it straight, take it through the hole. Put it in, it's down. That's what I go for. Instead of trying to pick up the bar in the middle. You can't get your hands in here, but I can go over here where you got a gap and lift. Okay, we gotta do the cycle. And I gotta pick it up this way. No weight at all. Get it straight. Walk over to the hole. Use your legs too and up. And it's in. Up, push on the bar, walk it up. Use your legs instead of your arms. Good. Three, one. Push. Up. Back to the left. Turn this way. Don't walk backwards. Turn. Walking for that bar and put this one down. Make sure it's in there when you start walking back. Start walking back, hands up. Walk. Halfway, lower it. Turn. Green. Yellow. And there. Push down, walk back. Look up. That's it. That's one cycle, two more cycles. Sal completed okay. one cycle. 
as Chris Fletcher mentioned earlier, the test involves performing three complete cycles, all within 12 minutes. Working safely and steadily, 12 minutes is more than sufficient time to complete the test. You will not need to rush. Always work safely. During the test, the trainer will not assist you, but he or she will ensure that you are working safely. If at any time the trainer feels that you are doing something unsafe or don't have control of the bars, they will stop the test, which is an automatic fail. Brittany Hulsema is a casual in Local 502. She's been lashing for just over a year. I'm only 5'3 and 110 pounds, so if I can do it, anyone can. Um, really what's important is just um, technique and how to use, how to um, maneuver your body and working smarter, not harder. You'll begin with all the bars behind the green line, then follow the sequence. Low red, high red, Low green. Low yellow. High yellow. Low blue. Once all the bars are hung, go back to where you started and remove them in the same order, placing them behind the green line. Low red. High red. Low green. Low yellow. High yellow. and low blue. Once all the bars have been placed behind the green line, you have completed a cycle. Lashing is a very physical demanding uh, job, so it's very important to keep in shape. And uh, basically, you're working in all elements of the weather, so it's important to come prepared to work, wear the right clothing, bring uh, proper foods to keep your energy levels, and um, hydrate. You have to be alert all time. It doesn't matter what you're doing, because all it takes is about a second, and you can be gone. Especially on the dock, when you got tons of machine flying around the dock, and you don't pay attention, you're gonna get yourself run over. On the ship, if you don't pay attention, you're gonna get nailed by stackers. When crane loading the, the containers, discharging and loading, and you got stackers in the air. One falls off, you're not paying attention, it's gonna hit you. If you're bending down, it's going to hit you in the back or it can hit you in the head. So be aware of your surrounding when you go to a job and I'll keep you safe. That's, that's what I've done since I was 17 and kept me up to this time. From our experience, we have found that a female entering the longshore industry, if she can come down to the waterfront training center and work with the unionized trainers for at least three times on three practices, she will be successful in the lashing physical demands test. We truly support and encourage all potential longshore recruited trainees to come down to the waterfront training center and work with our unionized trainers. The unionized trainers here that we have on staff 
have worked in the industry for over 25 to 30 years. These folks have preserved themselves in the industry because they work smart, not hard. And when you come down here and you do your lashing practice, those skills and techniques on body mechanics, correct body posture, correct ergo ergonomics, you will take those skills with you, pass your lashing physical demands test on your long and safe career on the waterfront.